some dignitaries on the dais. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed a special privilege to be asked to give this talk this afternoon on the global vision of telecom technology. I have been in telephone business for over 42 years and my journey has taught me a great deal of lessons. So as part of my presentation, rather than using lots of slides and data and graphs and charts, I thought I'd tell you a story. Story that is more about a personal journey a journey of telecom technology. I will talk a little bit about the state of telecom as I see it today. Thereafter, I'll comment a little bit on my experiences in India and the lessons that I have learned, which I believe are important for other parts of the world and then talk about the real vision as to where telecom technology is headed. Today, telecom is indeed the driver for development all over the world. Telecom is pervasive. It is everywhere. Not too long ago, it was hard to get a telephone connection in many of the emerging markets. It used to take 10 years to get a telephone line in India. All of a sudden, everyone is adding millions and millions of new telephone lines. Distance has no longer the same meaning that we had 20 years ago. I live in Chicago, I work in India, and I travel all over the world. And most of my work is done on internet and on telephones. I have no physical office as such. And this is true with many, many people around the world. Telecom is driving economy, health services, governments, and moving billions and billions of dollars around the world. Without the kind of telecom infrastructure we have today, financial markets in the world would collapse in five minutes. Banks will not be able to survive if telecom networks are not reliable. We all recognize that telecom is the nerve center of the global economy today. Today in this world, we have 3 billion mobile phone users. If you take population of 6.7 billion, leave aside young and very old, almost 70% of the people do have cell phone. And this has essentially transformed the telecom scene. All of this has really happened in the last 20 years. I remember as a young man getting a job in telecom in the US in 65. I had an opportunity to work on digital switching in Chicago. That was the first real transformation from analog to digital. When global networks got converted from analog to digital, the quality of voice changed overnight. As we decided to send bits and bytes as opposed to analog signal, which got distorted over a long distance, digital signal had discrete value, yes or no. And as a result, quality of voice changed when we changed from analog to digital. At the same time, stored program control 
was introduced along with digital switching in a big way and that gave us freedom and flexibility to add features and functionalities of hundreds of different varieties. Again in 60s when we were designing switching systems, we used to design close to 150 features in stored program machine. Earlier it was just line to line call, then you started adding things like camp on, conferencing, call back, ringtones and feature list started increasing and we started adding more and more features and functionality because of stored program control technology. So the first big break in technology was analog to digital and wired logic to stored program control. Second big break came recently from wireline to wireless. That gave us mobility. Earlier your phone was fixed, your number was fixed and you could only talk from point A to point B. Mobility gave a totally new dimension in terms of your personal address. Now all of a sudden your personal address became mobile. You could be here, you could be there and that number became your own that you could take with you. So along with features like SMS, so you can begin to text and roaming, you acquire with wireless technology totally new dimension to telecom. Mobility, taxing. In the process, all kinds of wireless technologies got introduced, spectrums got allocated, billions were collected by governments by selling their airways and in the entire process semiconductor technology played a very important role in miniaturizing systems, reducing power, increasing speeds and providing a lot more flexibility and functionalities again embedded into the software and new devices. Third major technological revolution came in when networks got into a cloud with internet. Earlier there were networks for hospital, corporate, universities, governments. Now all of a sudden everything got thrown into a cloud, internet cloud which you could tap and as a result networks became global. You go on internet, you can go anywhere, anytime, pick up information. Internet essentially transformed the nature of communication. As a result of internet, the business models started shifting. All of a sudden, internet technology gave a new dimension to how we do things. And I'll talk more about it later on. But these three fundamental technological shifts, analog to digital, wire to wireless, networks to clouds, gave us a great deal of confidence for designing the future. In mid 80s, many people like us saw that telecom is going to be the key to human development, partly because that's all we knew. So we had no option but to think that way. 